is read as Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. The first thing you want to pay attention to is the ba with a kasra. Any letter in Arabic that takes a kasra will have the e sound. The e sound. So just like the ba, the meme here has a kasra. You want to make sure that you have the e sound, just like in English. Bismillah. The lam here occurs in lafzul jalala, the word Allah. In this case, it is light because it is preceded by a kasra in the meme. So the lam is light. Bismillahirrahman. The ha is light, but the ra is heavy. Okay. Now, by heavy and light, I'm really referring to tafkhim and tarqiq in Arabic. If a word, if a letter is recited with tafkhim, it is heavy and thick. If it is recited with tarqiq, we say it is light and thin. So all these words right here are light and thin. I show that with one line underneath. And all the letters that are heavy and thick, I will highlight with two lines underneath. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. The ma here has uh, this dagger alif. Make sure to elongate that with two counts. Ni is light, ra is heavy. So notice how over here the ha is light, the ra is heavy. We go from light to heavy light here to heavy. Make sure each letter is either light or heavy. The distinction has to be crystal clear if you want your recitation to be accurate and correct. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay, let's start with the first ayah. Qul huwa Allahu ahad Qaf is a heavy letter. It is read with tafkhim, but the lam sakina following it is light. So make sure you have that transition. Okay. Qul, qul, qaf is heavy, lam is light. Huwa, both are light. Now the lam in this lafdul uh, jalala is actually heavy because it is preceded by a fatha right here on huwa so make sure the lam is heavy hu here is light and thin and then in ahad these are all thin now one thing i want to point out is this hamza right here is a light letter but you will hear many individuals making it heavy when they read it so you will hear ah ahad ahad it's Ahad, ahad, nice and thin. The dal here, dal, um, takes a sukun because we're stopping at the end of the ayah. It will have an echoing sound, which is called qalqala. So let's read this ayah one time. Um, paying attention to these two heavy letters, but we don't want the thickness and heaviness of the qaf and the lam to spill over. Um, into nearby letters, that would be incorrect. So you want to read Ayah number two The A, uh, Hamza, is light but the Lam here is heavy because it is preceded by a Fatah Okay, just like over here. So the lam is heavy and the ha is light. So we go from light to heavy to light. Allah Sad Sad is a heavy letter. Lam is light, that is light with qalqala. Allah Sad. Ayah number three. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. 
the two lam sakinas are both read with uh shafawi you want to make the la memes sorry the meme sakinas are both read with ifhal so you want to make the meme sakina very clear lam lam yalid again the lam here takes a kasra we want the e sound not the i sound so if you read lam yalid lam yalid if you're reading lid that is incorrect the correct recitation is yalid remember the e sound lam yalid wa lam yulad the wo well here is a mud letter for elongation make sure you have you um, being twice as long and the del has qalqala lam yalid wa lam yulad two qalqalas actually one here and one here and then the last ayah ayah number four وَلَمْ يَكُلْ لَهُ كُفُوًا أَحَدٍ The meme sakina is light and it's read with إِذْحَاءٍ or clarity وَلَمْ لَمْ يَكُلْ لَهُ Now we have something more interesting going on. We have a noon sakina, a noon with a sukun, followed by a lam. Okay? Now the rule here is called إِلْغَمْ بِلَا غُنَّ إِلْغَمْ بِلَا غُنَّ which means assimilation without any nasal sound. So the, it's as if you're reciting without the noon. Okay? You're dropping out the noon altogether and you're linking up the kaf into the lam with the shadda. يَا كُلَّهُ يَا كُلَّهُ The ha actually has a elongation you want to read this twice as long over here we have a well um, taking a tanween and that's followed by hamza so the rule here is called ilhal you want to make sure the tanween is read very clearly with the um, with the un sound very clearly without you know assimilating or without any nasal sound again the Hamza here is light and thin the Dal has so let's read the entire surah one time بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد Now if you want to combine ayahs number one and two you will have to read, you will have to add in a noon with a kasr underneath. Because what's going on here is you have a tanween followed by a hamzatul wasl. So to connect between the two, you have to read it as In this case, the lam will be light because it is preceded by a noon with a kasra, right? In recitation, it's as if you have a noon with a kasra. So if you want to combine the first two ayahs, you will read, قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدُنِ اللَّهُ الصَّمَدِ And that's...